On your mark. All right, uh, here with Brandon Lord, the winner of the 2015 Collegiate Running Association uh, Half Marathon. Uh, Brandon, how did uh, how did this race fit into your uh, your season's plan? I know you just came off of the Richmond Half Marathon last weekend. So was it kind of tough to double back with another one a week later? Um, you know, as far as it fits into to training, uh, I've been training for the marathon this year um, with Coach Watson up in Charlottesville. And, and he started having me doing some pretty tough workouts. And so I think that, honestly, like the past couple weeks after I, I tried Chicago and it didn't go as well as I wanted to. And so we sort of took a step back and said, let's do some halves. And uh, so Richmond was sort of the, the big one to look at. But um, so we haven't had that, that tough of workouts like after the marathon. So this is this sort of reminiscent of the marathon buildup. So it wasn't, you know, it wasn't as bad as it would have been a year ago if I tried to do the same thing. I mean, a year ago, 66 minutes on PR. And so anyways, uh, I mean, yeah, it, it, it worked out pretty nicely. Um, Coach Taylor sent me a message. She always updates me on what's going on with the CRA. And I've always been trying to get down for a race, and this was nice and close, and so it fit in really well. Yeah. So how did you find out? You said uh, Coach Taylor, Steve, have been in contact with you. How did, you. how did you find out about the Collegiate Running Association and this North Harbor race? Yeah, so uh, yeah, Coach Taylor recruited me out of, out of high school, and uh, so we, we sort of kept in touch, I guess, over the years. Um, and uh, I guess when he started the CRA a couple of years ago, he would, he would always send me emails and you know, let me know when events were going on and, and sort of always been excited about what he's doing but uh, never had a chance to really get involved while I was still in college with, you know, racing every other weekend and stuff like that. And so I'm in grad school now in Virginia and uh, just gave me a good opportunity to come sort of take part in what he started and it's exciting to be here. So Nice. Yeah. nice. So what was the race strategy going in? It looked like at about seven miles you started to make a move and drop the pace a little bit. Was that the plan from the gun? Uh, yeah, so, you know, coming off Richmond, like you said, like, uh, you know, I didn't know how I was going to feel. I actually I had to fly sort of across the country the past couple of days for a job interview and I ended up getting in pretty late last night. So all that sort of like coming up, I was like, I might be a little bit tired at the end of the race. So I, I didn't want to put myself in too vulnerable a position um, in that last mile or two. So around seven, we we dropped the pace down. To, I think a couple four fifties in there, and then I backed it up to you know four fifty five to five minutes somewhere in there for the, the last uh, few miles. But you know it was sort of knew that I wanted to be up in the front and then just sort of move along as we got going, but not not really leaving your room for air at the end. <laughs> Yeah. So, will we see you on the streets of Los Angeles in February? What's what's the rest of the season looking like for you? Yeah, so unfortunately not. Um, I, I have Canadian citizenship. Uh, yeah, so I'm running for Canada, uh, not for the uh, U.S. And so I, I don't have the trials. Um, instead, we're just we have to we have to shoot for uh, the A standard, the marathon, in order to make the uh, Olympic marathon. And so that's 2250. I think that you know this race sort of this back-to-back -back sort of racing sets me up for that. All the training we've been doing um, just gotta sort of hit the right marathon and we'll see what happens there but we're, we're looking at Rotterdam right now um, and I think that's in April and then maybe the world half marathon championships in March in Wales so that's sort of how next next year is shaping up but um, yeah 2016 will be an exciting year and uh, yeah we'll see what happens awesome awesome well congratulations and uh, best of luck thank you I appreciate it